Hey guys, what's up? It's Sloan Rusty here. Happy New Year. It is uh, January 7th. Uh, hope everybody's having a good 2019. Uh, wanted to shoot a video on my 1987 Porsche 944 Turbo, also known as a 951. I uh, just realized I really haven't shot much video and shared this uh, really at all on, on YouTube, on my YouTube channel. So I thought uh, it'd be a good time to do so. Anyway, quick, uh, quick video on the car. Bought this car about three and a half years ago. Um, actually right at the Mexican border uh, where uh, in Brownsville, uh, just uh, north of Matamoros. It was online. I flew down on a one-way ticket and trailed it back uh, home and uh, got it to the point where it, it runs really well now. It was a bit on the rough side when I bought it. It took about four, maybe five months to, to get it up and running well, which required, of course, a new timing belt and water pump, um, you know, and all, a whole front uh, seal as well, engine seal and a balance shaft belt and all this everything that goes along with it in fact i'll just pop the hood and why don't i show you that uh yeah at the same time i also bought a set of the uh, aluminum into cooler pipes which i polished uh the car has a bunch of Lindsay ra racing parts on it including their silicone hose kit as you can see the blue hoses this car has an older MAF conversion, um, so no AFM, factory air box is gone. Um, and it runs really well. I've, I've got a manual boost controller on it now, which uh, you can see right here. And it's set to about 15 pounds. I can take that up a few more pounds, but at this point the car is making a great power, 15, and I was like, ah, I don't, I don't need to wring every last horsepower out of it. I want the reliability to, to stay there. I also have uh, Lindsay Racing's a four inch exhaust, which is a, a system that starts at about three inches and then eventually transitions up, if you will, to four inch. Um, and it's a, it's a great exhaust in these cars. It really helps this large four cylinder breathe very well. Um, so once that was installed with their wastegate, um, and the the dump off the wastegate. That's when I decided to install the boost controller, um, and it, everything works extremely well. I'm very happy how the car performs. Um, at at 15 pounds of boost, if the tires are a bit cold, it'll it'll definitely fight you for traction once you get into the power band. So it, it's a it's a pleasurable car to drive. It's very well balanced as these cars are and um and certainly enjoy ownership last weekend actually actually two weekends before the alternator the original alternator from 1987 finally uh decided to give up the ghost on me and it took me the better part of eight hours to pull the old alternator out and put the brand new bosch alternator in as you can see the alternator is buried in there and first car i've owned a ton of ton of cars this is the first car I've owned where I've actually had to drain the coolant system to, to actually change the alternator. So Porsche being an engineering company, I was like, wow, that, uh, <laughs> that was a surprise for me because I always fly their flag high, but that was uh, way more challenging than I thought it, it should be. But anyway, new alternators in, cars running great, no problems there. Um, some other noteworthy features, I, I've got the upgraded fuel lines that I put in. Uh, it's got the three bar uh, fuel pressure regulator, um, new Cluet uh, spark plug wires. Uh, I did a full tune up as well at the time. Uh, I powder coated a few items as you can see. The car has an adjustable cam sprocket which you cannot see. And it also has Lindsay Racing's full billet pulley which you can kind of see there and kind of see one there. Um, uh, so none of the steel pulleys are on the car. So, so that's uh, a little, a little bit of an upgrade as well. And yeah, and that's about the only thing I, that's not working on the car right now is the air conditioning. So that's something I'll tackle here uh, when I get to it, which needs to really be done. But uh, anyway, um, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. The car also has uh, the front, front lip from I think it's Texas Performance. 
and then I I painted it uh, close to the I guess the seal gray or the the Zermatt gray um, of the car um, so what else can I tell you um, I also fixed the non-operable sunroof um, put in new gears took it all apart greased all the motors and then I did the glass sunroof conversion so that turned out really well now the sunroof works this car I was really lucky um, when I bought it because it has factory sports seats in burgundy which is a fairly popular color back in the 80s for Porsche um, the interior in this car has aged extremely well and uh, I've got uh, just under 71, uh, just under 72,000 miles, excuse me, on this car. So really it hasn't been driven a heck of a lot. So the interior is in, in pretty good shape and it, it looks like it's always been garage. I picked it up from a guy within his garage and um, I know the car has, a, has had at least three owners before me. So anyway, um, it doesn't get driven a heck of a lot, but when I do drive it, it's, it's certainly a fun car to drive. and. Um, always regret not buying one of these um, a bit earlier on when I was living in Colorado, but um, I'm happy that uh, I was able to secure this one and bring it home and get it up to, to good mechanical health. And, um, and it's been a fantastic car to, to own and, and drive. Certainly one of those very recognizable and, and one of those high watermark 1980s sports cars. This car also has uh, the period correct two-piece uh, ATS racing wheels uh, from from uh, Germany, and uh, the the brakes have been the the calipers, excuse me, have been powder coated. So, and the car sits a bit lower than than stock. So, um, anyway, so I just uh, wanted to share that, and the car um, shares a garage with my 1983 280ZX, as you can see over here that's been featured quite extensively in my YouTube channel. And actually, this is the car that that actually made me um, start a YouTube channel. So lots of lots of videos on this. And uh, beyond that, we have my uh, 1998 SL500 that I just finished uh, the big brake conversion and suspension work on. So that's sitting here. Um, garage is messy. Beyond that, we have a set of three piece BBS LMs, a uh, really deep dish as you can see that will be um, installed on my SL here sometime soon and next to them are the AMG Air Aero 2 BBS monoblocks that I recently refinished. So anyway, a uh, bunch of Mazda parts of course over here. So hope, uh, hope everybody's doing well and hope you enjoy the video on the 944 Turbo and uh, we will be uh, featuring some more cool stuff coming up. Stay tuned. Thanks. Take care.